Well, I hope you guys are ready for some chilling pain because I am. So let's go ahead and uh, pop it open. As always, cardpunk.games, best source for sealed products. Uh, that includes Y Swartz, Wixos, Force of Will, a little bit of Pokemon. We'll probably have some brilliant stars up pretty soon. Uh, not too much, though. I uh, didn't get a hold of too much of it. But we will have some. And you'll uh, definitely be seeing some get opened as well. So, let's go ahead and get into Chilling Pain, as it's so affectionately called. Ooh, that pack opened nicely. I like it. I like it. Alright, uh, first half of the box, well, first three packs we'll go through commons and uncommons. Uh, don't want to do it forever, but I think this is the first time we've opened Chilling Pain on the channel. Oh, ah, uh, Sneasel right into a Weevil. Or Weevile, I guess. And Lucky Energy. Alright. So after two more packs, we're just going to look at the hit, and that's it. Well, hopefully the hit. Alright. A, that cast form is adorable. But wasn't there... Oh, the rainy form. Huh. So each of the form... Oh, and there's the sun form. Yeah, so each of them has their own uh, basic version. It's really cute, though. It's made out of yarn. That's kind of adorable. Reboot. Greedent. So we got two hollow foils in a row. That's kind of nifty. Alright. Bam. Last pack that we're going to go through the commons on. Alright. You gotta love the Pokemon art, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how they continue to make such good art over the years, but they really do. It's pretty baller. Oops. Almost opened the code. Alright, so just going to the hit. Clara and our first V, Tornadus. Regular art. Alright. I uh, don't know why I took the Claire out, but... Oh yeah, let's take the foil, reverse foils out, I guess. Waltz. Wheezing. Alright. Still got a lot of packs to go. Really looking for an alt art today. Um, Zero Aura and Moltres, I think, are what we're most interested in. Oh, another foil. Damn. Uh, they don't, the Zero Aura doesn't have much value compared to the Moltres. I like Blaziken. I'm not in love with the alt art of it, though. I like it as a Pokemon, though. So, I definitely wouldn't mind the alt art of that, especially since it's the most expensive card in the set. But, as for things I like, I think Moltres and I really like the Zero Aura as well. So I think those are the ones top of mind. I'm trying to think of what other alt arts there are in there that I like. <clears throat> this might be the set with the Zapdos alt art, actually. The Zapdos alt art is pretty nice with it just running up the cliff. I don't know, maybe it's the Celebi one as well? Celebi? has a pretty nice alt art. Huh. I don't know. Let's just see what we get. Uh, hopefully an alt art of some sort, though. Got another hit here. Blaziken V. Alright. Not the alt art, but still a really cool Pokemon. Definitely, uh... Ooh, a full art doctor. Alright. Not the uh, most expensive full art trainer in the world, but it is a full art trainer. So that's pretty exciting. We still have more than half the box to go as well. 
Uh, but yeah, Torchic was... Oh, wow. Another Zapdos. Yeah, so this is the set with the alt art Zapdos, son. Uh, yes, Torchic. <laughs> uh, Torchic was definitely my first starter of that generation. Uh, no doubt about that. Probably my second as well. Uh, my second playthrough. And a lot of hollow foils. Uh, Torchic and uh, Blazekin were... Uh, Definitely the MVPs for me. I loved them both. But, I don't know. That art, the alt art for the Blazekin just doesn't look that great to me for some reason. I feel like it should be better. Walloran, another, another Pokemon I definitely used for multiple runs of Gen 3. I've always liked Walloran. It's nice and bulky. Special attack is not anything to laugh at, that's for sure. Clubberpus and Gallade. Gallade, another Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> once it was introduced, I really enjoyed. Right. And Metagross V, very nice. Uh, I was actually looking at a Metagross deck recently that I thought looked cool. I don't know if we'll build it, but it looks cool. Frostlass, another Holofoil rare. That's so many of them. All right. Just want one alt art. I don't care if it's the least expensive one. Let's at least get one alt art though. Plenty of packs to try. It's a nice thing about 36 pack boxes. Gotta keep going until you hit what you need. It was nice. At least we got a full art trainer, though. That's not super common. Uh, there's a lot of sets where uh, I'd be very happy to get a random full art trainer. Wow, another hollow foil. That would be very happy to get a full art trainer in. But definitely, chilling pain is not up there. Alright, feels like we haven't gotten a hit in uh, a lot of packs, so honestly the drizzles are actually uh, worth a little bit too, just because there's one Inteleon that's uh, super strong. Not the V, one of the uh, Stage 2 Inteleons. Alright, there's our next hit, Ice Rider, okay. I take that back. Technically, we have uh, open Chilling Rain on this channel. It was only a few packs, though, from a variety pack opening. Because uh, I do remember getting the Ice Rider Calyrex on the uh, channel at one point. Alright. Oh, something else here. Calyrex Shadow Rider. That's the one we like. Uh, I mean, we like the alt art versions more. Oh, I think this set has the alt art Rapidash, too. Alt art Rapidash looks kind of nice. It's hard to keep uh, it straight in my head. Ooh, or something here. Uh, full art Rainbow Brawly. So we got two full art trainers. Uh, again, Brawly's not a trainer we actually care about, but... It is a rainbow art. That's not nothing. Ooh, another hit, too. Ooh, VMAX Blazekin. Nice. Alright, so we got the Blazekin V and the VMAX. That's very cool. Uh, looks like four packs left, including this one. So, alt art is not super duper likely, but let's see if we can hit something. Three more to go. Let's, let's take these ones slow. Let's go through the art again. The Pokemon card art is always very nice. Honestly. They do such an amazing job with it. I especially like when they add very interesting textures to it as well. 
Uh, like that yarn cast form, for example. That's real freaking cool. Alright, two more packs to go. Okay, let's see. We got a Sfeel, Crab Brawler, Golet, Porygon, Grookey, Kakuna, Malamar, Doctor, Celio. <sighs> nope, no idea. Peony? Yeah. Alright, well, that's. That one stumped me. I don't know uh, what she was from. Alright, so. Coughing. Yan Mask, Snow Runt, Bounce Sweet, Cub Fu, Weezing, Porygon Z. This was really the box of hollow foils. We got a lot of those. Whirlipede, Crushing Gloves. So, you know what they say? One more box. <laughs> uh, so let's go grab another box. I'll be right back. I know, I know I am very, <laughs> very famous for saying this is it and then opening up full cases, but this is actually it. This is probably the last chilling rain box we will ever open on this channel. So this is exciting. You gotta get excited for that. that box and uh, let's get going let's see if we can get in this one we didn't do too bad we got a couple full art trainers so that first box was not a complete mess starting off with another hollow foil though that's very random actually this is the first time I'm reading the shaman's abilities Sky Return was the Roaring Skies ability, or the Roaring Skies attack, and then its passive ability in Roaring Skies for Shaman EX was the first ability, minus the 10 damage, of course. When you benched it, you drew up to 6. That's interesting. I've never actually read that Shaman. So, now you know. That is, uh... A mimic of the Shaman EX from Roaring Skies. Roaring Skies? Evolving Skies? No, it was Roaring Skies. It was A Skies. Uh, it was back in the XY generation. Alright. Another Weezing. Alright, so opened a few packs. We're due for a hit pretty soon. Not there, though. Man, that duck trio looks like shit. Holy crap. That's interesting. Well, you can definitely call it unique artwork. Oh, another hollow foil? Man. Chilling pain is, uh, good if you're looking for hollow foils, I guess, today. Packs are also a little bit harder to open than the first box. They are from a different case, to be fair. Another Blazekin VMAX is going to be our first hit of the box. Ooh, we got our second hit of the box. A Blissey V. Oh, yes, the Blissey alt art's pretty nice. I like the Blissey alt art. Uh, again, I think it's one of the least expensive ones. But the actual art's really nice. It's weird slur pluff is a rare. It's not a not a Pokemon you think of uh, deserving a rare slot. Zangoose. 
on the other hand, is a pretty boss Pokemon. Spirit Tomb, I think that's our third one. I think we got two in the first box. So we need one more for a playset. Uh, another hollow foil. Cinderace. Oops. Alright. Golurk and Malamar. God. I hate having to evolve Malamar. It's so convoluted. You have to turn your... <laughs> you legitimately have to turn your system upside down. It's so weird. Ooh, yet another full art trainer. Today is just the day, I guess. Peony. All right, a few more packs in the first half of the box. All right, let's see. Maybe we're going to get a fourth full art trainer. Maybe we will get an alt art. That is the dream. An alt art. Almost anything at this point. Would be real nice. Oh, we got something. Zero Aura V. Not the alt art Zero Aura, unfortunately. We would really like that. I think in the alt art, he's just like on a cliff staring into the distance. I remember it looking pretty cool. I haven't seen it in a hot minute, but I remember it looking pretty cool. Uh, financially not doing great so far. I'm trying to think of uh, what the hits are V-wise. The only one I can really think of is the Calyrex Shadow Rider. V and V-Max are uh, very playable. I guess the Moltres V is probably a few bucks. Moltres V is definitely playable. Another hollow foil, man. I think we've got more hollow foils than V's, actually. Another Walren. Alright, we're on the second half of the box, though. Uh, so far, four hits, so that's about average. Uh, not great hits, but four hits. Here's another hit. Sanaconda V, we do not want the alt art of that. A, it looks really stupid, and <laughs> last time I checked, it was only like... Seven or eight dollars for the alt art. So that would not be what we're fishing for here. So I just want to make sure my piles are good there. Dream. I feel like that's our first Pissimian, actually. I don't remember getting that in the first box. And again, it's hard to keep track of everything. I think that's our first Serena as well. Either that or I'm not paying enough attention. It's one of the two. That is not our first Sir Fetch, though. I think that's our second one. Second one this box, in fact, I think. We are real good on the hollow foils. Man, if hollow foils were still the chase cards in Pokemon, whew, we'd be doing great. Oh, there is something with some texture, too. Oh, alternate art Shadow Rider V Max. Oh, look at that. All right, let's let's take a little little detour to look at that baby. Oh, that's nice. I do think it's only like 30 bucks, probably around there. But it looks nice. Let's grab a sleeve for that one. I think Shadow Rider deserves that. Alright, so that's our first alt art out of Chilling Rain. Uh, Wild Guess probably going to be our last. I've certainly seen multiple boxes... Most notably with Evolving Skies, though, that have multiple art uh, alt arts. I don't know... Oh, there's our fourth Spirit Tomb. 
Uh, I don't know if I've seen multiple alt arts come from Chilling Rain boxes. I watch, for the record, a lot of Pokemon openings. Uh, <laughs> a lot of Pokemon openings. Um, ooh, double shop it. So that that could be a thing. Uh, but that could also just be happenstance, haven't seen it. Uh, then again, not many people are uh, ordering box breaks of Chilling Rain. Or Chilling Pain, as most people call it nowadays. Uh, it is not known to be the best. Financial decision, <laughs> that is for sure. Uh, but I am also not known for making good financial decisions. So here we are, Kecleon, ooh, a Shadow Rider V, it's looking there ready right, to VMAX into that beautiful alt art, alright, alright, we only got two more packs, so we're not, again, overly likely to get even another hit, much less another alternate art. We did get, uh, I think that's our fourth Galarian Weasling, too. We did get a few full art trainers, that's pretty cool. Uh, one of which was a rainbow. Not that, ooh, we did get a hit. What is it? A Celebi V. So yeah, this is the set with the alternate art Celebi, then. Alternate art Celebi is really nice, but Shadow Rider ain't nothing to sneeze at. Got a little less going on in the background than a lot of alternate arts, but it is an alternate art. And it is not the Sandaconda. So it's not like a seven or eight dollar card. So that's really good. Honestly, the border looks amazing down at the bottom where it looks silver. Down here. That's really nice. It looks like a really nice metallic silver. And then over here, the color almost starts to look like a uh, Japanese Pokemon. The uh, silver border. That's nice. Alright, well, that is a wrap. Uh, let's see. Got a couple Shadow Rider Vs, a couple Blaziken VMAX. Then we got our Brawly, our Peony, our Doctor. Alright, so those are our... Uh, Real hits out of the box. Definitely didn't make our money back, but we had some fun. Got to open some new product that we haven't opened in a long time. And we get to look forward to Brilliant Stars coming up soon. So that'll be fun for all. Mostly fun for me. <laughs> Very excited to open it. Uh, I've seen a little bit of it so far as far as openings go. Uh, Danny Phantom did a opening, and those character arts look beautiful. Uh, as with anything with an Umbreon in it, we're looking for those Umbreon character arts. Uh, especially the V. I like the V character art a lot more than the V Max character art, I think. I might be reversing those, but in my head, it's the V I like a little bit more. But, uh, frankly, any character arts will be great. They're all well done. Uh, do I still have those around here? I think I have some character arts around here, actually. You've never seen a character art. Maybe yet. Yep, I do. I have two character arts over here. We have, uh, Torkoal with Flannery. And we have Coughing with you bet I don't remember her name. But I, I really do like this carf coughing one, though. The black and the purple just looks fantastic. But yeah, so if you've never seen the character art, that's what they are. They, they're they based around the Pokemon, and then they have uh, characters in them. They're full art. Uh, they replace your holo, or reverse holo slot. So you can actually get a character art and a VMAX, or I guess V-Star. Uh, as the new set's going to be having. So you can actually get both in the same pack, which is pretty exciting. Uh, normally, at least for Cosmic Eclipse, which is where these ones came from, you got... 
I think it was two or three, but it might have been three or four character arts per box. So they're not super common. There's some secret rare versions. Uh, Cosmic Eclipse had the Piplup and Dawn as a secret rare and the Pikachu and Red as a secret rare. Uh, those ones are both really great. I like the Pikachu one a lot. Uh, there's a lot of other just random ones that are more common that actually look really nice too. So if you're opening Brilliant Stars, look out for character arts, that's for sure. Uh, and if you're watching me open it, you can bet your ass I'll be looking out for character arts. So, either way, uh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the opening. Hope you got a little uh, Pokemon fix in you. And uh, I'd say we didn't do too bad for Chilling Pain, honestly. Normally this is uh, not a set that shares much love. So, it's good we we at least got a alternate art. That's what we came in here looking for. So that's good. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good rest of your week. And uh, feel free to subscribe and, of course, check out cardpunk.games for any sealed product needs you have.